Hello all, welcome back. So in previous class we have seen the different type of shift registers including the universal shift register operation. Now we have the applications of the shift register. One of the application of the shift register is the shift register counter. So what is the one of the application of the shift register is the shift register counter. If you see that in previous classes, right? So by using of the shift register, we are going to store the multi-bit information or if required, we are shifting the value from one flip flop to the another flip flop so that we are getting the final value right but now if we see that what is the meaning of counter means suppose 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, right for the first clock pulse count will change from 0 to 1 then 1 to 2 2 to 3 let it be count is something 0 1 to 3 what is the counter once count is completed it should return back to the initial position right so it is written back to the initial position now if we see that after finding the fourth output, it is not going to connect it to the initial position, right? So it is not the shift register counter. So whatever we have done so far, just we are storing the value inside of the flip flop. Then we are moving the one value to the, and I mean one flip flop to the another flip flop. But if you connected something output to the input, nothing but three to again initial value, then it is called as the counter operation, right? So this is what exactly we are going to do here. Right, one of the application of the shift register is the shift register counter. Right, so in which output are connected back to the inputs in order to produce the particular sequence. Right, so it means that something like this the final output of the flip flop will be connected to the input value, then this car is the shift register counter. So again, we have the two classifications one is the ring counter, another one is the Janssen counter, or twisted ring counter, or switch rail counter. This is the most important question right most of the time they have they have asked in the university exam right so how to draw the so they will ask to design the ring counter circuit diagram or Janssen counter circuit diagram right simple thing if you have the multiple flip flop then if you are shifting the value then it is called as the shift register if somehow the output is connected to the input so it means that again it will it is coming back to the initial position then it is called as the shifting plus storing as well as the counting this is what we called as the shift register counting output is connected to the input then it is called as the counter so finally it is called as the shift register counters we have the two types one is called as the ring counter operation another one is called as the Janssen counter operation we will see what is the meaning of the ring counter operation as well as the Janssen counter operation the question is something like this <coughs> design 4 bit ring counter using d flip flop operation something like this question right now see that a ring counter is basically a shift register counter in which the output of the first flip flop is connected to the next flip flop and so on so something like this right so once it is done the output of the last flip flop is again feed back to the input of the first flip flop thus the name is the ring counter the data pattern within the shift register will circulate as long as the clock pulse are applied we will see what is the meaning of the ring counter then how to perform the ring counter operation right so what is the given question we need to design the 4 bit ring counter by using what d flip flop right so for that i am going to consider in the 4 flip flop 1 then one more is the second one then third one then finally fourth one right let it we will consider the d flip flop only this is da this will be our db dc dd so what is the output value qa qb qc qd right so common clock pulse should be applied right then only it is the synchronization operation right so common clock pulse will be applied to the all the flip flops right now common clock pulse is applied here now see that this is the first flip flop data in right so this is connected to this one right this is connected to this one right why because we need to shift the data from the one flip flop to the another flip flop Right now try to identify whether it is the shift register or shift register counter. Yes, the answer is this is the shift register. So what do you mean by shift register counter? Something like this 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Once count is completed, 1, 1 something, what should be done? It should be connected to the initial position, right? If you see that 0, 0, let it be 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Once count is completed, it should be connected to the input, right? Then only it is called as the counter, right? So it means that once count is completed from this one to this one, this one to this one, again it will return back to the initial position. So what is the meaning of ring counter means like ring operation. So the output should be connected to the input, then it is called as the ring counter. 
right now we'll see what is the operation of the ring counter so first let me take some data let it be this is the first flip flop something nothing but qa qb qc qd right so before applying the clock pulse what is the value i have stored here is something 1 0 0 1 right now after applying the first clock pulse what is happening we will see right after applying the clock pulse value now see that what is this value the output of this value nothing but one right this one right the same value will go to here right for the second first clock pulse now it will come to one right it means that the first value is something one zero zero one after applying the first clock pulse now what will be happen this output is connected to the input right what is the current value of this one one right one it will go to here right it means that one will go inside of the first flip flop now already here we have the one right it should be go to the second flip flop right now this value will go to the second flip flop this zero will go to the third flip flop this one will go to here now what is the value of current value of the flip flop one something like this here i am going to write one second flip flop is one again third flip flop is one right so fourth flip flop is something one fine here i have made a mistake right so if your initial data is 1001 right so this value is 1 right it will go to here so this will be replaced this one it means that 1 will come to here the ring counting operation this one will go to here this 0 will come this 0 will come so what is the now data double 1 double 0 right now what is the data here something like this double 1 double 0 now what is this current value last people have output 0 right where 0 will go again it will go to the input right because output is connected to the input right now here this value will be 0 already this one will go to here right it means that 1 again this one will go to here something like this 1 then we will be getting the output as the 0 something like this after applying the one more clock pulse what is the now current value of the flip flop which is stored here 0 1 1 0 right now this value will go to here right now this value will go to here this value will go to here this value will go to here this is how it is going to perform after applying the fourth clock pulse value now this one will come to here right so one this zero will go to here this zero will go to here this one will go to here so after fourth clock pulse only you will be getting the again one more data means you are returning back to the same clock pulse value simple thing if initial data is something one 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 or zero something now see that after applying the first clock pulse what is the output of the fourth flip flop zero right this zero will come to the first flip flop this will go to here this will go to here this will go to here after applying the one more clock pulse now this will go to the first so one this will go to here zero then one one after applying the one more clock pulse one one zero one something so always this output of this value will come to the first flip flop then these values will be shifted so this is the operation of the ring counting operation something like this if you have this one it is performing the ring operation right so now what is the meaning of the Janssen counter what is the difference between the ring counter and Janssen counter right so here it is not required for you that reset operation right just you take the clock pulse you take the four flip flop something like this da db dc dd output values are something qa qb one more is qc another one is the qd right so if you see that we have the two outputs right one is qa bar another one is the qb bar another one is qc bar another one is the qd bar now what is the difference between Janssen counter and ring counter is that in ring counter if you consider the four flip flop right each flip flop will be connected to here something like this the output of the here what is the output qd qd bar right if QD is connected to the input, then it is called as the ring counter. Now, where we have the difference in the Janssen counter means, again, we have the same four flip flops. One is connected to another one. So, at the output here, we have the QD, QD bar, right? If QD is connected to the input, then it is called as the ring counter. If it is, what is the twist here is that, if QD bar is connected to the input, then it is called as the Janssen counter. Now, see that. Here the QD bar is connected to the input means there is the Janssen counter. Remember the very important point is that if the output of the last flip flop normal output is connected to the input then it is called as the ring counter. If complement is connected to this one then it is called as the Janssen counter. Now we will see that operation. Let it be initial value is something 
something what is the initial value consider 0 0 0 0 right initial value after applying the first lag pulse what will be happen try to guess now see that which value we are giving if this output is 0 what is this value 1 right the same value will go in and occupy in the first flip flop right it means that now what is the first flip flop value 1 or 0 see that if it is 0 initial value stored in the flip flop is 0 0 0 0 right so 0 means it is the normal output but for input which one is connected qa qd bar qd or qd bar qd bar connected if qd equal to 0 then what should be a qd bar value 1 right the 1 is connected to here right now what is the first flip flop value will be replaced with what 0 or 1 1 right it means that first flip flop value will be 1 this value will go to here 0 this value will go to here 0 this value will go to here 0 right so now what is the current value here 0 right now what this value qd qd bar means what again 1 so this 1 will go to here now what is the value will be getting 1 1 0 0 it means that always this complement value will go to here so 1 1 0 right so this one is 1 this one is 1 here 1 here value will be 0 again this complement value go to here 0 1 1 0 again this complement value sorry this value will be 1 right again this complement value will go to here so that you will be finding the four ones something like this so see that initial count is 0 0 right now see that what is the final value qd value equal to 0 qd bar means what 1 right so this is connected to the input right so this value will be 0 bar means it is 1 next value shifted here shifted here shifted here so after applying the one more clock pulse this is 0 right complementary value is what 1 so this is 1 means this value will go to here 0 will go to here so again this 0 means here you will be getting the 1 1 1 0 so for the next clock pulse this will come to here right 1 1 1 1 so next observe here why here we have the 0 means what is this value fourth flip flop qd right so what is required qd bar right if qd equal to 1 means qd bar equal to what 0 right so this is the connected to here right so it means that this complement value will come to here that is nothing but 0 this value is 1 this value is 1 this value is 1 again this value complement 1 means 0 this value this value this value again complement of 1 means 0 this value this value this value right again if you perform this one you will be finding the output something 0 0 0 0 how many clock pulse 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 clock pulses for 8 clock pulse you will be finding the repetition in case of what Johnson counter in case of ring counter if you see that only for fourth clock pulse 4 clock pulse you will be getting the repetition counter so depends upon our requirement some cases we are using the ring counter some cases we are using the Johnson counter but most important point to remember is if the output of QD is connected to the input then it is called as the ring counter if output of the QD bar is connected to the input then it is called as the Johnson counter right so operation is pretty easy just to pass the value then you just connect the output to the first flip flop then shift the value from one flip flop to the another flip flop so that we can write the operation for the either ring counter or Johnson counter right thank you